Hi, and welcome to part 2 on how to solve DQ6 and DQ7. If you haven't looked at the introductory video or the part 1 video, please do so before watching this video. In this video, since we solved the black center already, we're going to be solving the yellow center on directly the opposite side. And there's only one rule you have to know for this. I know normally you would, if you wanted to insert this piece, for example, you wanted to insert it um, right here. You would move it over, down, in, and up. But you can't do that because look what it does to this side. So, you can't do that. Alright. <clears throat> what we're going to do instead is we're going to move it over. You know, once you got messed up, you're going to move it over, down, and what you're going to actually do is you're going to move it. Um, remember, the piece we're trying to insert would be, I think it's this piece? Um, no, wait, this piece right here. So we're going to move it so that it's not in this, um, it's not in this column right here. We can't do this because it's still on it. So you have to move it away. And we're going to move this over, move it back in the column, move it in, and move it up. Right, wrong side. Move that up. And you see, it does not mess up the black center. We do the same thing for V-cube 7. If we want to insert this piece right here, we just move it over, um, down, move it out of the way, move this over, move it back in, move it back up, move it in, and move it up. And then that piece would be there. And it did not match up, um, mess up the black center. And that's all you really have to do for to get the yellow center. Alright, rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and thanks for watching.